understand why you said yes if you had no intention of doing it. Well, we uh, obviously forgot. We well, can't be trusted. Well, I know that, but uh, that's my fault, really. How? I made a mistake. I shouldn't have asked him to do it. Why did this have to be the one meeting I couldn't get out of? You weren't to know who'd let you down. No excuse, though, is it? Really? You've been too hard on yourself. It's Tom I'm angry with. Oh. I managed to turn up here, then. I don't understand. What's going on? Stupid as well as irresponsible. What? You haven't changed, have you? All Pete asked of you was a simple task, and you couldn't even manage that. I was just about to set off. You're now and a half late. You can't just leave a little girl at someone's house for that long. But there was a message Don't bother. Saying... I don't want to hear it. And if you think you're going to have another chance, you can forget it. Look, you're thinking about waiting. OK, bye. Done. Was this something that you wanted? Well, I'm just worried about you, that's all. I don't want you to get in over your head. I don't know what you're talking about. No, no, of course you don't. Will you just be careful? Because from now on, I'm going to be watching and waiting. Gina. I uh, saw you talking to Tom earlier. That's criminal damage. And you know all about that, wouldn't you? Oh, would I? I'm glad you listen to me. Is this something on your mind? Yeah, my business. And your pathetic attempts to damage it. At least have the guts to admit it. Admit what? Blocked sinks, hoax phone calls. Oh, not that again. I told you, I know how your twisted little mind works. So you can drop the hang. It was you. You know what? Hurling accusations around is one thing, Pete. But have you actually got any proof? Now, I won't warn you again. Look at how you're dead through me. You. God knows I'll make you regret it if you do. Yeah, speak out. There's something I want you to do for me. You all right? Oh, can you... Uh... Thanks. Hello? Hi, it's me. The traffic's terrible. I don't think I'm going to make it in time. Oh, right. Uh, well, I'll cancel it with Tom, uh, if he gets here. Well, are you sure? I don't mind looking after Harriet. No, it's fine, really. OK, if that's what you want. I'll see you later. Yeah. Thanks. Bye. That was Mummy. She can't leave to the cinema. Why not? Well, she's stuck in traffic, darling. I mean, you could go to the cinema with Tom on your own, but uh, you don't really want to go without your Mummy, do you? Not really. Right, well, we could stay here and watch your favourite video and uh, maybe get some pizza. How does that sound? Brilliant. Yeah. All right. Well, you go and choose a video, and I'll order some yummy pizza, yeah? What are you doing here? Joey said I could come straight up there. Didn't want to miss the start of the film, so a bit early. In case just fun. Yeah, I know. I'm going to meet her then. Hi, sweetheart. You ready for the cinema? She doesn't want to go. We better hurry or we're going to be late. No. She doesn't want to go with you, Tom. And you're upset. I am not upsetting you. Children can sense anger in friends. Oh, don't play games with me. I think you better get out. Unless you want to drag her out of here, kick in and scream. We'll go another time, Harriet. I'll see you soon, yeah? OK. So, what happened about the cinema? Tom ran to say that he wasn't taking her after all. Well, I don't know. She was perfectly happy until he arrived, and then she just didn't want to go with him. It's weird. She normally loves the cinema. Well, not today. Uh, to tell you the truth, it was a bit embarrassing. Oh, there wasn't a scene, was there? No, no. She was she was fine after Tom had gone. Is she OK now? Yeah, yeah. She's, um, she's at all her dinner, and uh, she's watching a video again. <laughs> <laughs> well, Pete, I'm really sorry if it's put you out. No, no. Don't apologise. I don't want you to feel taken for granted. Oh, I don't, Kate. I love spending time with Harriet. Nearly as much as I love spending time with you. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. Listen, I've got a nice bottle of wine chilling. Why don't we uh, spend a quiet evening together? Even sweeter. Mm. You do know you mean a lot to me, Kate, don't you? Thank you for everything you've done for us. Mm. i better check on Harriet. Yeah, yeah, OK. Uh, 
hurry up the game. Hold. Shh. Painful, doesn't it? Come on, Harriet, we, uh, we get you back. But we haven't finished speaking yet. Yes, you have. Don't be so mean. He's not great. Oh, my heart, please. Still, it can't be totally unexpected, can it? Why not? Well, because small businesses around here are vulnerable to things like that happening. It would be hey. nice. Don't you wind me up, cat. Will you be quiet? You're definitely not having him with that attitude. We'll discuss this tomorrow, OK? I'm sorry, darling. You want that, yeah? Cheers. He seems a bit upset, doesn't he? Yeah. I want to see my daughter. And she's asleep. Then wake her up. I don't think that'll go down too well with Kate. Harry, it's not safe alone here with you. Says who? I've seen the bruise on her head. That was an accident. So I'm going to check on her. Take one foot up those stairs, and I will get Kate to take our restraining order on you. She'd never do that. She will do whatever I tell her to do. Meaning? Sometimes she needs a little help to make a decision. If you ever lay a single <laughs> finger on her... <laughs> Sorry, something funny! You are, Tom. You are a joke. Right. I'm going to tell Kate all about this. You tell her what you like. She won't believe you. I've got it twisted around my little finger. This is all some sort of sick game to you, isn't it? Don't you remember what I said to you, Tom? I'm after you. And I meant it. And I won't give in until I am through. You don't care about how you're okay at all, do you? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Now get out. A few days, isn't he? Two lives in the sport. Monday at... Was this something that you wanted? Well, I'm just worried about you, that's all. I don't want you to get in over your head. I don't know what you're talking about. No, no, of course you don't. Will you just be careful? Because from now on, I'm going to be watching and waiting. And you know all about that, wouldn't you? Oh, would I? I'm glad you innocent with me. Is there something on your mind? Yeah, my business. And your pathetic attempts to damage it. At least have the guts to admit it. Admit what? Blocked sinks, hoax phone calls. Oh, not that again. I told you, I know how your twisted little mind works. So you can drop the hang. It was you. You know what? Hurling accusations around is one thing, Pete. But have you actually got any proof? Now, I won't warn you again. Look at how you're dead through me. You. God knows I'll make you regret it if you do. You know who it is? Give me two guesses. Pete? Really? Who else would it be? Well, no one I can think of. But you don't think it was Pete? Well, I know you two don't get on, but I didn't realize things were this bad. I applied for a liquor license, Dad. Pretty sure it's a response to that. Oh, excuse me. Very. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, hello. No, no, that's fine. No, uh, just leave it right here. Yeah, not, uh, not this evening, no. Now, I'll, I'll call you first thing in the morning. Yeah, right. Yeah, bye. You think it was him, don't you? I'm sorry, you've lost me. You think Eric had something to do with turning over my cafe? No, of course not. I know when you're lying, Dad. You've had two minutes. Tell me the truth. Could you keep the noise down, Shut up, you! If he's responsible for turning over my cafe, you tell him he will not get away with it. Yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> 